Good afternoon from this old greenhouse. I'm Casey and I'm here in East Tennessee and it is June 16th. It is very warm. Summer is starting to really show itself and I wanted to talk about a very vivid little beautiful flower that can go in your flower beds that's a perennial. Maybe not really a common one that everybody has in their flower beds but I'm going to show you guys and tell you a little bit about it and if you can find one in your area I definitely recommend it. They are actually a succulent and they are a perennial, which means they come back every year in certain zones. They grow in plant hardiness zones of five through nine. So if you are unsure of your plant zone, just get on the little Google and look it up. It's very easy to find. We are in East Tennessee, which is zone 7A. So it just depends on how cold your winters get. Um, ours do get pretty cold, so a lot of annual flowers don't make it till the next year. Now they can take place from ground cover to bushy subbrush, depending on the type. I'm going for a ground cover, kind of like an edger, and I just bought these at a local nursery. And one thing about these is they close up during the night and they open up during the day. So when the sun starts coming out in the morning, it starts warming up, their little flowers open up. They typically start blooming in spring and will bloom throughout the growing season. Now, they do love a sunny area, so if you have a good spot that's got mostly full sun, they're probably going to perform a little better than somewhere that has a little more shade. But what's really cool is in a lot of regions, they virtually flower all summer long, and they're just so vibrant. And like a lot of other succulents, they're usually pretty hardy. You know, they could be in sandy areas, desert areas. You can put them on slopes. Um, rock gardens they do well in those i've got some growing up front in my rock beds like a lot of them will just drop down in between the rocks there's hardly any soil and they do fantastic if you want something that's going to kind of fill out your flower bed then you want to plant them about 15 to 18 inches and then next year you'll have a little bit fuller of a presentation of them now just one little piece of advice because they are a succulent they do love well draining soil so if you need to put some additives in there um, sometimes you can go get like a cactus, you can add sand to your soil. I do that a lot. I love river sand. I keep it on stock in my greenhouse and I make a mixture with potting soil, about a 50-50 mix. But if you don't have river sand available or you know you can't get sand in your area, then maybe like a cactus mix would probably work well. Just add that into the soil around it because they don't like their roots to stay wet. Most succulents don't enjoy that and then they will rot. That's about the only issue I've ever had trouble with is a succulent just being too wet. They will not grow well in dense clay soil, so just keep that in mind. But one thing I found about succulents is they don't have to have nutrient-rich soil, so you do not really have to fertilize them a whole lot. Now with perennial succulents that live outside year-round, I would say as a lot of people a lot of people ask how much water do they need and most of the time I just let God take care of that with the water I never really have to go out and water them a whole lot my sedums and my front beds I never water them they can go a good while without having water but if you're really concerned about it and you've went a whole week with no rain once a week watering would probably be pretty sufficient enough for them now if these are gonna stay outside in the winter time and you have pretty harsh winters a lot of snow you might want to mulch over them just to kind of protect them a little bit. One awesome thing about these is they come in so many colors. Like this one is just like a hot pink. And then this one is pink on the outside and orange in the center. And then this one's just like a really bright orange. I love it. There's more colors at the nursery, so I've got to make my way back over there and just get one of each. And you may wonder if they need to be deadheaded, but with ice plants, typically that doesn't have much effect on them. So that's not something you have to go out here and do like you'd have to do like with my petunias. I have to work on them every day. These are virtually just put them in the ground and not have to fool with that. Now, if you absolutely have just the worst low nutrient soil, I might add maybe something like a little bit of a flower tone in just maybe once a season or something. And that might perk them up a little bit and encourage them to bloom. But the biggest thing that will encourage them to bloom is just the sunlight. So I can't wait for mine to fill in. I'm very excited about it. Um, I really recommend you all go out there and see if you can find some. If you want a different flower to go in your flower bed, you need an edging flower, some ground cover, check them out in your local nursery, see if you can find them. Um, I've also got one other flower here that is kind of related. It's not the same flower, but it is a succulent and it's called Portalaca. And it is also a beautiful flower. It is not opened up to its full capacity. It was yesterday, but like I said, we got cloudy skies right now. Here's some of the spent 
blooms they'll fall off and then they'll have new ones right below it you can see it right there same with the other ones and they just open up to look like just like a little rose and I just love these they call these a moss rose but here again succulent and same applies to them as far as care and they come in many colors too here's yellow so I just love them I, I'm a succulent lover I've got a whole bunch of my greenhouse and and if I can find any succulents that are perennials, I will put outside because they are so hardy and they also add color to your winterscape. And here's another one called Autumn Joy. And I definitely wanna go find some more of these. They have some really pretty flowers late summer into the fall and the bees love them. It's like a really pink flower, it's beautiful. So I'm going out to get some more of these to fill in my beds, I just love them. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just send them my way. I don't mind to answer any questions if I can. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless.